to get it cranked back up. Abba Shadabashi. Yarama Shadabashi. Share this with your friends, invite your followers. We're going to start in one minute. Somebody's missing. Good morning, Retford. Somebody's missing. Who's missing? Go wake them up. Vacation is over. Hello, Denmark. Here we go. Here we go. 30 days of decrees. Here we go. Wake up, Canada. Here we go. Munich, Germany. Wake up. Here we go. Life changing. 30 days. Decrees. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida, founder of the Ignite Network and author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Today's devotion titled, I Love to Hear You Pray. And we're doing 30 days of decrees, but we're still going to read our devotion. And here's what I heard the Lord say, I love to hear your voice in prayer every morning when you awake. It's one of my favorite parts of the day. When you awake and begin declaring your love for us, it moves our heart. When you inquire of me, it is my pleasure to answer. 
when you speak to my heart it is my joy to speak back to yours I hear your voice even when the hectic pace of life makes it difficult for you to hear mine so keep lifting your voice to father in prayer keep telling me about your struggles and fears and dreams and victories I'm listening says the Spirit of God amen I like that today's scripture references Psalm 63 verse 1 Psalm 27 verse 4 and Psalm 34 verse 15 and the prayer starter for today remind me to begin each day praising your name and lifting up my petitions to father's throne and help me because I don't know how to pray as I ought I trust in you help me touch father's heart in prayer so father we do we thank you that you are always listening we know that if we pray anything according to your will that you hear us and we know that if you hear us we have that which we ask it's a promise in your word the Apostle John the beloved one shared this truth with us and we can bank on it we can be assured know and understand that when we pray anything according to your will when we decree anything according to your will it shall be done your word says decree a thing and it shall be established so we establish our life on your word today God we establish our life by the sealing of your spirit the guarantee of your spirit we are established in your kingdom and we praise you you we thank you we lift up the God who decrees over our life we lift up the God who has a kind intention toward us we lift up the God who died on a cross just for me just for you we lift you up at the beginning of this year at the beginning of this day we lift you up and we say glory 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 be unto you glory and honor belongs to you Jesus you have the preeminence in our lives we will order Order our lives around your word we will order your li our lives around your spirit and his leading we will order our lives around your precepts and your principles your truth your life your ways we decree that we will follow you all the days of our lives God we thank you that you order our steps to the place that you want us to go to the places that you want us to go we thank you Lord that you've got a plan a new plan for each and every day it's not the same as yesterday we don't need to stay stuck in a rut we don't need to stay walking around the same old mountain or around and around and around and around I thank you Lord we can turn to the left or the right when you say shift we can shift when you say move we're gonna move when you say turn this way we're gonna turn this way not that way and when you say turn that way we're gonna turn that way and not this way God we are leaning and depending on you to make a pathway for us a way out of no way for us oh God help us Lord to follow you precisely with precision God Lord help us to hear your voice with precision God like a knife that's sharp enough to cut things into fine pieces God help us Ugh. help us Help us, Lord. 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 Help us, Lord, to cut away those things in our life that hinder love. Help us, Lord, to be willing to crucify our flesh, not to wait until you've got to come up with your laser and whack something off. God, let us be willing to lay down the things to lay down the attitudes to lay down the thought processes to lay down the the wrong perspectives help us Lord to lay down those things that hinder love help us be willing to cut those things out of our life that are not fruitful to prune them to lop them off to to weed our gardens God Oh Jesus come into our garden come into the garden of our heart Holy Spirit and pull out those weeds those attitudes that cause us to walk in low places instead of ascending instead of ascending instead of ascending instead of gaining altitude in the spirit God would you help us today help us today to see the way that you see so that we can walk in your ways your ways are higher than our ways your thoughts higher than our thoughts but God we want to ascend to that place where we can think the way that you think 
We can see the way that you see. We can hear the way that you hear. What grieves you grieves us. What makes you angry angers us. What brings you joy delights our heart. God, help us to come into greater unity with your spirit. We decree a greater unity with your spirit. We establish as a law in our life love. We establish as a law in our life. We decree love. We decree peace. We decree joy. We decree. We decree. We decree. And we declare that your will is our will. And if our will is not aligned with your will, God, bring it into congruence. Lord, drop a plumb line in our life even now. Drop a plumb line in our life even now so that we can see where we don't measure up to the stature of Christ. So we can see what we need to work on first. What is that little fox that's spoiling our vine? What is that one thing that if we changed it by the grace of God, if we shifted it by the grace of your spirit, if we just decided to agree with you to deal with this thing, what is that one thing? God, show us what is that one thing? What is the one thing? What is the one thing that would cause the most dramatic shift in our life? We decree a revelation of that one thing. God, bring us that revelation. We want to see it no matter how painful it is, no matter how unpleasant it is. We want to see the one thing that will cause the greatest positive shift in our life, the greatest godly change in our life. God, show us the one thing. Help us to see God. Help us to see what it is that causes us to stumble over and over and over again, that causes us to, to, to slip and fall over and over and over again. God, we're so thankful that your word assures us, assuredly, the righteous person falls down seven times but gets back up again. God, but we don't want to keep falling. We don't want to keep slipping. We don't want to keep sliding. We want to walk with feet like Heinz feet. Where we don't fall and we don't stumble. Especially, God, not over the same things that always entrap us. I just saw in the spirit a bear trap. I don't know if you've ever seen a bear trap. It's got big teeth. It's like, like, a, like a rat trap kind of, but it's different. And the enemy has set traps along our way. And for many of us, he doesn't have to be clever. He doesn't have to be uh, creative. Because the same trap keeps working. And when the trap claps down on your ankle, it hurts, it causes pain, it causes disappointment, it causes regret, it causes resentment, it causes all these emotions to rise up in you. It's the same old pattern, it's the same old way, it's the same old trap. God, help us, Lord, to see the trap and to avoid it, to skirt it, to walk around it, to rise above it, God. I decree in the name of Jesus that we will no longer fall into the traps that caught us in past seasons, but we will see it for what it is. God, help us to see the biggest thing we can change in our life according to your grace to see the greatest difference, the greatest uh, shift towards godliness. God, would you help us? Oh, sure, Rabbi, come on. I know so many of you can relate to what I'm saying. I know so many of you can relate to what I'm praying. It's like the same thing. Some of you don't recognize that it's the same trap because it looks a little different, but it's really the same thing. It's the way that you're looking at something. It's the attitude of your heart. It's the pain from the past. It's the disappointment from the last two years, three years, four years, the hopelessness, the anger, the depression. It doesn't, the devil doesn't need any new tricks or new traps because the one that he laid for you five years ago still works today. God, would you help us? I decree visibility, supernatural visibility into our own heart. <laughs> Your word says the heart is wicked above all things. Who can know it? The heart is wicked above all things. Who can know it? God, help us to know our own heart. Help us to know your heart. Help us to know the hearts of the people around us. That we would know them by the spirit and not by the flesh. That we can walk in the spirit, walk in love with them. Even when they fall into those traps that we saw coming. And that they don't discern. Because of the pain, because of the hopelessness, because of the bitterness, because of whatever. God, help us, Lord, to, to, to see. I decree supernatural insight into the snares of the enemy. We will no longer be hamstrung by the enemy's tactics. I decree it. I decree a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. New altitudes. I decree new altitudes in our life, God. And... and <laughs> It's so much of a it, beloved, it's our attitude. 
<laughs> and I've been studying attitudes all morning. I've been reading a book by John Maxwell. I've read many. But the attitudes, you don't even have to, beloved, you don't even have to say a word to express an attitude. I was in another country last year, and there was this young man who uh, thought he was all that and a bag of blue corn tortilla chips. He thought he had it all together. He thought he was the greatest and I was there, and I don't know if he was threatened by me or if he was just so haughty and prideful that he couldn't see straight. But the whole time that they asked me to teach, first of all, he didn't show up for the first several sessions. I suppose he thought he knew everything. He was a very young man, maybe 26. And finally, when he does come, he would not look at me. He stared slightly in the opposite direction the whole time. And then when they asked me to pray for all of those there, he refused to be prayed for. They finally had to make him, the elder had to make him come for prayer. And this is smug attitude, but see, he never said a word. It was just this smug, it was the body language. It was the, 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 the refusal to look me in the eye. It was the refusal to, to it was the, it was the it's, it's an attitude Father, help us to get our attitudes right so we can ascend. Because our attitudes affect our altitude. God, would you help us, Lord, to stop being so concerned with what everybody else is doing and get our eyes on our own heart. To have the, a mind like Christ. He was humble. He was meek. He was lowly of heart. Lord, help us to be those who refuse to criticize when there's so much going on in our own life that we haven't even straightened out yet. Where do we stand in the place of judgment when our own lives are so far from perfect? And as much as we've grown and as much as we continue to press, we'll never be perfect in this body. So God, would you help us to let go of the critical attitudes? To let go of the judgmental attitudes. And some of us, we're critical towards ourselves. We're so critical towards ourselves that we can't ascend. We can't climb higher in the spirit because we see all the things that are wrong with us. Let me just say this. God loves you. And you're not where you need to be. And I'm not where I need to be. But I thank God I'm not where I used to be. And he has brought us from a mighty long way. And he who, 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 who began a good work in us is faithful to complete it. To complete what he started. He's not going to leave us half baked. He's not going to leave us half cocked. He's not going to leave us halfway made. Father we thank you that we can stop criticizing and judging ourselves. In such a harsh manner. That we can stop looking at what we're not. I decree that we will begin to see ourselves as who we really are in Christ. Help us Lord to see ourselves as we are. Your word says, as Christ is, so are we in this world. We have authority. We have revelation. We have the spirit of God dwelling on the inside of us. The power that raised Christ from the dead dwelling on the inside of us. I decree a revelation of who we are that we might stop putting ourselves down. Stop thinking less than ourselves of who we are. We were created in your image, God. Help us to see ourselves as we really are. Not too high, not too low. We're not going to think more highly of ourselves than we ought. But there's so many people listening to me. That is not your issue. You don't think more highly of yourself than you ought. You don't, but instead, you don't think enough of yourself. Humility is not thinking poorly of yourself. That's not humility. Walking like a worthless worm. That's not humility. Humility is glorifying the one who made you as you are. The one who made you in Christ's image. Humility is walking in his will and doing everything he's called you to do and giving him glory and giving him the credit. He said, I will not share my glory with another. Father, help us, Lord, to walk in love with ourselves. Not to be in love with ourselves from a narcissistic perspective, but to walk in love with ourselves, to treat ourselves well, to treat our bodies well, to think well of ourselves. Not too highly, not, not from a haughty, arrogant, private, but to, 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 to see ourselves in Christ, to, to see our good points, to see our strengths, and not just our weaknesses. Boy, I don't know who I'm talking to today. Father, I decree that we will begin to see ourselves in a balanced perspective. I decree that we will see ourselves 
Not too highly, but not too lowly. That we would see, God, I decree that we would see the gift of God on the inside of us, the gifts and talents that you've given us, and that we will put them to good use for your glory, for your kingdom, for the salvation of the lost, for the healing of the sick, for the deliverance of the captives, for the opening of the blind eyes and the deaf ears. God, help us to see ourselves rightly, to stop beating ourselves up. Some of you have already, just in these first two days, slipped up on some kind of quote-unquote resolution and you're already beating yourself up. I decree in the name of Jesus, we will not fall into the temptation of condemnation. We will not fall in the temptation of guilt, the temptation of I'm not good enough, I'll never get this done. All of these things we declare over ourselves and decree over ourselves. I break them in the name of Jesus. I break, uh, come on, break them with me. Now I can't break them for you. I can just model it. Come on, say this with me. I break every evil decree I've spoken over my life. I break decrees that I'm not good enough. I break the decree that I'm not, I don't have money. I break the decree that I'm sick. I, come on, whatever you've been decreeing over yourself, God will reveal it to them. Reveal it to them. Help us, Lord, to break these evil decrees and to walk in the decrees of the Lord, the statutes, the ways, the laws, the thoughts, the words of the Lord. We can confess, we can decree, we can declare them and we can see them come to pass. He watches over his word to perform it. We break the power of condemnation. We're not where we need to be. We know there's a long way to go until we rise to the stature of Christ. We know that we're never going to be perfect as long as we're in this mortal body. Flesh warring against the spirit. The spirit warring against the flesh. But we know that you're, we're changing from glory to glory. Come on, some of you that are feeling condemned or not good enough, come on. You've changed See the progress, beloved. See the progress. I decree a revelation of the progress, the spiritual growth. Help us, Lord, to see our own progress so that we can encourage ourselves in the Lord in what you have done in us. Help us, Lord, to see our own spiritual progress, to stop seeing everything that we are not and everything that we didn't do and everything that didn't get done and every mistake that we've made and all of these issues the enemy wants to keep bringing to our mind. Help us, Lord. I decree a revelation over your life of the progress that you've made. You know, one definition of happiness in business success circles, they define happiness as the continual progress toward a goal. Now, I know we have the joy of the Lord, but there is a thing called happiness, and it is an emotion. Joy, not an emotion. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. It's a position that we can maintain no matter what's going on but happiness is an emotion and there's nothing wrong with it and Brian Tracy is a like a success coach and he must be 80 something years old now and he always taught that happiness is the forward moving progress toward a goal so when you're moving toward your goals when you're moving toward that thing that God has put on your heart when you're moving you be you 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 you, you feel happy and when there, you're in frustration is when your goals are being blocked, when something you're going after, something God showed you that you should do when it keeps getting blocked by the devil. And that's why you need joy. Because you can be happy when you're overcoming the devil, but when the devil puts a roadblock, you get frustrated and then you lose your happiness, but you can still keep your joy. So I decree over you joy, unspeakable and full of glory, an attitude of joy that causes your altitude to rise in Jesus' name. I decree over you that joy, unspeakable and full of glory, that joy even in the midst of persecution, the joy even in the midst of what looks like failure, I decree it over you in Jesus' name, that joy, <laughs> that joy of the Lord that is your strength, in times of opposition, that joy of the Lord that is your strength, when your body feels like it cannot go one more step, that joy of the Lord that is your strength, when you feel like you're going to have a mental breakdown, that joy of the Lord I decree over you. Listen, beloved, that is your portion. It belongs to you. The joy, 
The joy, the joy. Jesus said, pray, ask me, and I'll give it to you that your joy may be made full. Father, help us to pray without ceasing so that we can see the answers that bring us such joy. Your gospel was, was, was good tidings of great joy. <laughs> help us, Lord, to tap in. I just decree that joy over you even now. I decree the joy of the Lord over you even now. Come on. It's in you. Let it out. Hey, it's in you. Let it out. It's in you. Let it out. It's in you. Let it out. Come on. Don't let me sing it. It's in you. Let it out. You've got the joy, joy, joy. Come on. You know the song. You've got to have joy. Every time the devil comes against you to try to mess with you, to make you feel hopeless, to make you feel depressed, to make you feel that, 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 that angst and that frustration... Just begin to sing. I don't care if you're tone deaf. I don't care if you can't sing a lick. Drive the devil crazy. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Hey, just sing. Sing a new song to the Lord. I decree new songs over you in the name of Jesus. I say God is smiling over you. God is singing over you even now. Why not sing back to him? God is singing over you. The scripture says God is singing over you. The Bible says it. God is singing over you. He sings. Why not sing back to him? Why not make a joyful noise? God help us in the name of Jesus. I decree that we are going to higher altitudes. According to our attitude. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, help us to see the attitudes that are keeping us down at the low level. The low level devils that cause us to, 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 to fall for these low level, critical, judgmental uh, attitudes. These attitudes of, of, of it's, it's me, 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 me. I'm the, I'm the best attitude, the prideful, haughty attitudes, the condemned attitudes, the impatient attitudes. God, help us to rid ourselves of these attitudes, these little foxes that spoil the vine. We may never express them, but everybody around us can see them. These bitter attitudes, these rejected attitudes, these fearful attitudes, we never have to voice them with our mouth. But they manifest through our gestures and our body language and our countenance. Because attitudes always have to be expressed. <laughs> Help us, Lord, to get our attitude right. For this is the foundation of so much in life. This is the foundation of success. It's the foundation of good leadership. It's the foundation of so many things, this Christ-like attitude. And I decree a Christ-like attitude will manifest in your life in Jesus' name. Lord, whatever changes we have to make, whatever pain we need to let go of, Whatever relationships we need to cut off because people with bad attitudes like to run in packs. Help us, Lord, to stop surrounding ourselves with people who never have a good thing to say. All they do is complain. All they do is criticize. They never have any positive thing coming out of their mouth. Help us, Lord, to, to detox from these bad attitude people in the name of Jesus. Oh, shorra ma darabashi. You help us, help us to go. I decree, oh, y'all can I decree, abashe, keteramashe. I decree a complaining fast. We're going on a complaining fast. Who's going to go with me? Who's going with me? If I just get three people, just say yes to go on a complaining fast for the next 30 days. What, 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 what would happen? What would happen? What would happen? What would happen? We might change some thought patterns in our minds. We might change some, we might see some renewal in our minds, a complaining fast. Everybody's going on a Daniel fast right now. What if we went on a, I'm not saying don't go on your Daniel fast. Do whatever you want to do. But what if we went on a complaining fast? Oh, I decree over you the supernatural grace not to complain. Father, <laughs> I decree over us the supernatural grace to catch ourselves before we open our mouth to complain. Come on, who's going with me? Who's going with me? This is a problem we all have. Some people have it worse than others. A few of us have evolved. A few of you maybe have evolved where you never complain. It's quite a feat. No man can tame the tongue, but the Holy Ghost can. Holy Spirit, tame our tongue that we will not complain. 
We want to rise in altitude, God, but our attitude affects our altitude. It was a year ago the Holy Spirit told me this, and I'm just now getting around to teaching it on Saturday. I'm sorry, on Sunday. A year ago the Holy Spirit told me this, right before I got massively sick. <laughs> it was because I remember because my daughter was in town. I had to go to New Zealand a few days later. And I was downstairs and praying in the garage because I didn't want to wake her up. The 6 a.m. prayer call. The Lord said, your attitude affects your altitude. I said, oh, that's cool. And then all hell broke loose. <laughs> Sometimes the Lord says something with, oh, that's pithy. That's neat, Lord. That's, co that's cool. We don't realize that this is something about, something about to happen. It's like a warning. So I decree that our attitudes will shift so that our altitude can ascend. I decree, Lord, a shift in our attitudes. Lord, help us not to complain. Help us to find something good to say, to be that encourager. Some of you are like, well, that's not my personality. Make it. <laughs> Your personality can be Christ-like. We have to sometimes try, don't we? Some of us that were not natural encouragers, sometimes we have to really lean on the grace of God. I get it. Lord, help us to have a grateful attitude. Help us, Lord, to have, to, to have an attitude of gratitude for real. Help us, Lord, to, to, to cut out all the murmuring and grumbling and complaining and the maliciousness. Help us, Lord, to have an attitude that is Christ-like. Our attitude affects our altitude. So help us, Lord, to fly high. Help us, Lord, to rise up and begin to decree your decrees over our lives, not the enemy's decrees. We give you praise and honor and glory because you are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord. We're going to do it. We're going to do it this time, God. We're not just going to talk about it. We're going to do it. We're not just going to decree it as if it doesn't carry any weight in the spirit. We're going to decree it, and then we're going to act by grace to get in line with what came out of our mouth. We're not going to resist you, God. We're going to cooperate with you. We're going to cooperate with you. We're going to cooperate with your grace, God, because you want this for us more than we do. I decree our altitudes are ascending, we're going higher, we're going higher, we're going higher, new altitudes, we're going higher, we're going higher, we're going higher, I decree new altitudes, we're going higher, we're going higher, we're going higher, new altitudes, and our attitudes will fuel that next level. So again, Lord, help us to walk in godly attitudes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yay! Come on, this is practical stuff. This is good. This is good. We're doing 30 days of decrees on the broadcast. As you know, that's not all we'll pray about whenever we do these sorts of things. It's always mixed, but I will make declarations every day. I have a brand new book out called 2019, The Year of the Decree. It has the prophetic word in it, but also tons of teaching on the power of a decree and why we need to be making decrees over our lives. The Lord, show me that this year... It's going to happen quickly with the decrees, for better or worse, so watch out. We talk about evil decrees. That book is on my website and on Amazon. It's on jenniferleclair.org and on Amazon. 2019, the year of the decree. Hit number one on Amazon. Hallelujah. God is good. We'll talk more about that later. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed. Some of you need to sow a repentance seed. Put your money where your mouth is and say, Lord, my mouth's been in the wrong place. I've been complaining. I've had bad attitudes. And you can't buy the grace of God, but you can sow a seed to commemorate this moment when you said, I'm going on a complaining fast. I'm going to get my attitude straight. I'm not going to see myself as less than. I'm not going to see myself as more than. I'm not going to criticize other people. I'm going to get my attitude in line with the character of Christ, but I need your help, God. Amen. Some of you need to sow a repentance seed. When I say repentance, I mean it's a new way of thinking. Change the way that you think. Listen, if you want to help the ministry today, we appreciate that. I've got an impromptu trip to London that is uh, unexpected, and I've got to cancel a couple of things there. So if you can help me get to London, uh, there's a, a stadium prayer event in 2020 
um, that I'm uh, going to uh, give insight into and help to plan uh, there in London in, in uh, at the Wembley Stadium. Uh, if you can sow into that, that's, that's a mission. It's not the same kind of mission I usually do, but it is a mission over the destiny of a nation. Amen. If you can sow into that, please do go to jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can become a partner there. If you become a partner uh, this morning, you'll get last month's partner resource and this month's partner resource because the new partner resource is going up later today. So you'll get both. Sign up this morning and you'll get both. You'll get a double blessing to start the month. Hallelujah. God is good. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can use the uh, uh, text to give. 754 701 2161 text the word pray 754-701-2161 text the word pray you can use the cash app cash app is dollar sign jennifer leclaire dollar sign jennifer leclaire you can use the cash app you can use paypal paypal.me slash jennifer leclaire paypal.me slash jennifer leclaire paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the P.O. Box if you want to mail a check, a money order. Thank you for all of the Starbucks cards. Praise God. Thank you for that. I appreciate those. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Father, I thank you. I'm going to teach you today, so hold on. Don't, don't jump off. I'm going to do a, teach, a quick teaching today after, after I get done with the announcements, so hang in. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to sow into your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to advance your agenda in the earth, whether that's feeding children, which we do here, or sex trafficking rescues, which we do here. All these things our ministry does, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity that you appropriate this seed in the place that it's needed most, the place where you want it in any given moment because it's yours, God. We're all just stewards of it. It's yours, God. I bless all those who are giving. I multiply. Ask your Lord to multiply this seed back to the giver. I pray for all of the Awakening House of Prayer leaders around the world, the Awakening House Church movement leaders, the Awakening Blaze Intercessory Prayer leaders all my staff, my volunteers, all of the vendors and the contractors, every th person that touches and prays and partners with Jennifer LeClaire Ministries, I bless them. Lord, I say bless them indeed. Enlarge their territory. Let your hand rest upon them and keep them from evil and causing pain. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good. Listen, just a couple of announcements, and then I'm going to teach. So hold on. In Fort Lauderdale on Saturday night, the prophetic release tour begins. Uh, the prophetic release tour begins at 6 o'clock. If you're in Fort Lauderdale, in the surrounding area, we are having a New Year's party right after a fellowship. So you can come to 6 o'clock for the, uh, the prophetic release, but then stay after and we'll get to know you a little better. On Sunday, we are having uh, kicking off our new series, Limitless Life, uh, on, at Awakening House of Prayer uh, in Davie, Florida. And we, if you're not part of the online campus, you can, you can sign up there to watch those at ahop.online. The Limitless Life. Hallelujah. Atlanta, prophetic release tour. Charlotte, prophetic release tour. This is on the 8th and 9th. Go register for the prophetic release tour at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. 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 The prophetic release tour will also be in New York. I'll also be in Singapore. I'll also be in London. I'll also be in Mississippi. I'll be all over the place, the prophetic release tour. You're going to want to get in on that. Singapore's going nuts. I got some really, really, really popular, uh, uh, a popular place for me to go, apparently. Um, School of the Seers is on uh, the 13th. You're going to want to get involved in that, schoolthespirit.tv. Lots of new stuff coming out for you to take part in. But the School of the Seers will continue into its second year. Uh, started February a year ago, so we're just rounding out our first year. We're going to talk about the making of a seer. Tarababa shekete ro shekete. Oh, the decree book. Go get your copy on Amazon, 2019, the year of the decree, or on my website. It's cheaper on my website, but the shipping is faster on Amazon. The sweepstakes. This is the fifth year anniversary of Mornings with the Holy Spirit prayer calls. Amazing. The fifth year anniversary. 
mornings with the Holy Spirit prayer calls. I'm doing a special sweepstakes. You can register to win all kind of prizes. Go find out what it is. Part one of them is a phone call with me. Uh, Jennifer, it's a uh, that 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 sweep. Uh, I'm sorry, giveaway giveaway dot mornings with the Holy Spirit dot com. Giveaway dot mornings with the Holy Spirit dot com. Giveaway dot mornings with the Holy Spirit dot com. Get on my webs. Get on my email list. You can get all this stuff. The 40 days of floodgates replay started yesterday on my YouTube channel. Those who want to listen to those 40 days of the floodgates again. Started on my YouTube channel yesterday, youtube.com slash JN LeClaire, youtube.com slash JN LeClaire. On my Instagram, we're doing 21 Days with the Holy Spirit, just to inspire you. 21 Days with the Holy Spirit, that's on my Instagram. Go follow me at the Jennifer LeClaire. Go on my Eventbrite. You're going to find all the prophetic release stuff. Today at 5.30 is the Seer Zone, the next episode of the Seer Zone, reactivating your dream life. I'm going to talk about that later on today. Hallelujah. And I've got a lot of other stuff coming up. On Sunday, I'm actually teaching Attitudes That Lift a Leader's Attitude, Altitude, rather. Uh, that is on um, Sunday. And then DNA, Discover the Visions and Values of Awakening House of Prayer. If you're part of our online campus, you're going to want to watch that. If you just want to learn more about what we're doing at Awakening House of Prayer, this is a, a true move of God, and we're seeing Awakening House of Prayers are going to start popping up all over the world, including looks like, uh, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to wait till it, till it comes to pass, but, uh, we are, we are really, uh, believing that God is going to have his way. And the house church movement is something that's starting to take off. Uh, I believe the Lord is blowing and moving on the house church moves. What is a house church? It's a, a church, a small church you have in your house. It's more intimate. It's more, uh, it's more, um, uh, cozy, more time for body ministry. It's, it's more relational based maybe than a, a larger church where you get lost. Awakening House Church Movement is at awakeninghouse.com. Awakeninghouse.com. Amen. And Awakening Blaze is the, the prayer movement. Awakeningblaze.com. Listen, get involved in whatever, uh, whatever uh, blesses you. Amen. God is good. All the time. Amen. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, keep Periscope on Facebook. I'll be right back with this teaching. Be right back. <laughs> 